in this video, we're going to talk about how to quickly manage systems using SALT SSH. We have an introductory video that walks past some of the pitfalls that you might run into when bootstrapping with SALT SSH, but this video will walk you through how to do things much more quickly. First thing to do is to edit the roster file and add a new system. In this case, we're adding a system called Server2, giving it the IP address of the, for the host. Of course, a DNS resolvable host name would also work. The username that we want to log in as, in this case, we want to use sudo to, to execute commands as root, so we're also setting sudo to true. When we execute salt SSH for the first time on that remote system, we're going to pass dash i. And so that dash i is going to automatically accept the host key from that remote system so that we don't have to parse it. Of course, we do recommend that you're careful with making sure that you accept only trusted host keys. Now it's going to ask us if we want to deploy the SALT SSH key. So we say yes, prompts us for a password. We enter the password and we've executed the package.install routine on this remote system and installed the CAUSE package. Now one of the nice things about SALT and SALT SSH subsequently is something that we refer to as system normalization. You may have noticed that the command that we put in was pkg.install. We didn't have to call out to apt-get on the remote system. If we were to hit a Red Hat system or an Arch Linux or a Gen 2 system or even a, um, a non-Linux system like an AIX system and say pkg.install, then SALT is smart enough to discover, based on the platform, which package manager to use, and then all of those package management routines have been normalized. Again, making it very, very easy to do cross-platform work. And so in this case, it has used apt-get under the hood to actually install CAUSE. And if it was a Red Hat system, it would have used yum. If it was a... Uh, Arch Linux system, it would have used Pac-Man, etc., etc. And we see the new version of CAUSE 3.03, and if it had upgraded CAUSE, we would have seen the old version. We're going to go ahead and do a command.run to do a remote execution routine on this system and call CAUSE and uh, have it give us a bit of a message. And there we go. With this execution, we didn't have to pass in a dash i. So uh, SSH has already accepted the remote system's key. We're able to run salt SSH. No prompting for passwords occurs. And we very, very, very quickly get the return back and to display the return as it would have been displayed on the remote system, even with all of the formatting. And so that is how we set up a system, a new system with SALT SSH, quickly and easily. 